lovely writing. I like the way it's staying on the line. You've got the spacing. I like the way you hold your pen with a thumb and first finger pinching with your middle finger uh, like a shelf. That's perfect. I like the way, can you write the word quick again for me? The, ang the angle of the, if I turn it that way, that's it. I like the way you've got it angling towards you rather than away from you. You've got your hand on the paper keeping it still and you've got it angling uphill which means you can see what your pencil point's doing when you're writing. In an ideal sense what you want is what we call a dynamic tripod graph. Dynamic meaning it active so it moves but what you want is what we call separation of hand so that the ring and the little finger stay still and this side of the hand works independently to the other side of the hand because what you're going to do is use less muscles for writing. If you do what I call a more sort of thumb wrapping graph, then you get more of the muscles involved and a lot of the children complain of pain in the wrist or you can see their tendons are very, very tight here. Mm -hmm. So ideally you want separation of hand, wrist stable, work downhill because I'm lefty, uphill if you're righty and just really getting that distal control yes. because you're using less muscles. So therefore it's more efficient, more ergonomically um, streamlined. And also, if you look at handwriting, if it's very spiky, then you know that it's really the whole hand's involved. But if you've got nice rounded letters, chances are they've got good distal motor control, which means they've got that, that interaction between the flex and the extensors and the, what we call the abductor, that abductor. We get too technical, yes. but you want that interaction of all the muscles to get that circular movement. Mm -hmm.